poetry writing you are going to get 45 minutes time to complete your letter writing the initial five minutes is only for reading you are not going to touch anything with your pencil it's mandatory only for reading those five minutes and the next with 40 minutes is for writing within that 40 minutes you can read write you can scratch you can write it again do whatever you want no worries and how is it going to be assessed the letter writing is going to be assessed with the two assessors so the error is going to be very very minimal okay let's go if i get the paper to write a letter now i directly jump into the writing task i would search for the information whether it is known case or unknown case known case means what known case is it known for the reader is the patient is known for the reader or is it a new case and the next thing i would find out in the writing task whether it is a discharge letter referral letter or transfer letter if you in case if you don't get the information in the writing task writing task do not worry you will get the information in the case notes get to know what type of letter and whether it is known case or unknown case and then we are going to the marking criteria many of the ot candidates they don't know how the letter is going to be assessed what are the categories or what are the criteria they are they are going to mark your performance so there are six criteria for letter writing in the first thing is purpose you are going to get zero to three score in that purpose letter purpose is what in the beginning you are writing right i am writing to refer this patient who has been diagnosed with hepatitis he requires for the care and management at your facilities and is being discharged today so this is purpose depending on the category of the letter writing if you are writing a referral letter for this purpose of the letter you are going to get three score out of three so write your purpose very legible clear simple and informative and main thing is formal if you write the purpose you're going to get three out of three and next criteria next five criteria you are going to score out of seven the second one is content what are the content contents you are going to select in the letter you should select the content which is relevant and the semi-relevant and irrelevant you are not going to select any content which is irrelevant to the reader select on the or select only the context which is only required for the reader you need to get the information from the case notes if they are giving the information in three to four lines or five lines you need to concise that information to smaller lines or small the same information should be delivered in very less sentences you cannot copy the same exact lines or the paragraph from the case note you should take it you should filter it and you should concise it and you should deliver the information with the clarity without confusing the leader sorry without confusing the reader while reading the letter so this is conciseness and clarity and next coming to the genre and style in the genre and style it depends on what kind of uh, formal letter writing you are writing the formality of your letter writing and the tone of your words please make sure to use only non-judgmental formal words in your letter whether you are writing to a professional to profession or from professional to the patient or family side use the formal words do not use any judgmental words like a smoker alcoholic this kind of words never use and one more thing when you are writing to a professional professional to another profession you can use medical jargons or abbreviations for non insulin dependent diabetic mellitus nidm you can use these words when you are writing a letter to another reader who is from the medical background they can understand these kind of abbreviations or medical jargons but when you are writing to a 
patient side or family you should never use those kind of abbreviations or uh, medical jargons because they can't understand that words and it may leads to the wrong information for them so make sure to keep these things in your mind in organization and layout of the letter here comes the two point one is thematic and one is chronological how to write a letter in thematic way if the if you are writing a letter in an urgent situation which needs urgent urgent care for a patient you are going to write in a thematic way that is you are going to include the present condition and the most information condition in the beginning of the letter which means after the purpose of the letter you are going to write in the beginning of the letter what are the things is going on now and the most inf uh, relevant information should be at the first and then comes you can write the past medical history soli social history and then you can write what are the things what are the tasks should be completed by the reader and at the end of the letter you can write please do not hesitate to contact me if you have any queries regarding mr x and x y z after finishing that you need to complete your letter with you are sincerely or you are faithfully when you are going to write you are sincerely if you know the reader if you know the reader then you can write you are sincerely registered nurse if you don't know the reader then you can write yours faithfully registered nurse your name darshan in the language they will consider your vocabulary then punctuations spelling grammar so please 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 focus on your grammars try to use correct past tense present tense and future tense learn active voice and passive voice to include in your letter and the main thing you can learn many connectors connectors sir what are the connectors which connect one sentence and second sentence together like the normal connectors what we use in uh, our day to day conversation is hand but so these are the connectors you can write hand but however therefore so learn many connectors and learn many vocabularies show your enrichness in vocabulary that will attract marks from your assessor and then what things and the spelling mistake try to avoid your spelling mistake and try to know in where you need to capital capitalize the word and do not use any note form try to complete the sentences make it sentence in the case note they will give you paracetamol 500 mg tad you should make that into complete sentence form for example the patient has been commenced on paracetamol 500 mg three times a day for the next two days it should be like that and never use any judgmental words for example if a patient is a smoker they will be like patient smokes 20 cigarettes for 15 uh, years you should make a non judgmental words and your tone should be right and formal like the patient smokes 20 cigarettes per day from the last 20 years see how it sounds instead of saying rather than saying the patient is a smoker or patient is a alcoholic you can use the formal words patient consumes alcohol two to four pints every week since 43 years old like this and what are the other things i can tell you yeah these are the things i just wanted to make the video short so you will get many information at the time okay let's summarize the case in the purpose you should know why you are writing letter and what reader should do these two things please make sure you will get 3 out of 3 and coming to the content 
make sure whether the information relevant information is included sometimes you can add semi relevant information in the letter please do not include any irrelevant information or repeated information to the letter and make sure get to know whether the case is known to the patient no sorry and when you got the read, when you read the reading task reading writing task get to know whether it is a known case or unknown case if it is a known case do not include any patient history uh, like family history past history because the known case is already known by the reader they know the condition of the patient for example gp gp knows the patient condition so you do not need to write all the past history social history just write what are the things which i have done at your facility or what are the uh, you need to update the things which is uh, which has been taken place since the gp's last visit with the patient so these are coming under content and coming to the concise and clarity make the information shorter and the information should be accurate without leaving the reader at the confused state by missing out some relevant information make it short simple formal that's it concise and clarity genre and style use the words formal and right tone of the language your words should be formal 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 if you write any informal words they are going to cut your marks and coming to the organization and layout organize your letter accordingly well if it is thematic immediate information present condition should be first if it is chronological you are going to write a story from for example visit by visit and 29th august these things has happened after 3 days on the september 2nd these things have done and at the end of the letter you can write the present condition of the patient and after that paragraph you can write what reader should do what actions the patient requires from the reader fine this is organizing and layout and the language i already told grammar vocabulary your punctuation spelling mistakes is very very important please go through it and when you are practicing practice within 30 minutes try to complete your uh, letter in 30 minutes and you will left out 10 minutes while practicing after completing your letter writing proofread the letter because whenever you read the letter when you proofread it you will find at least one to two mistake each time somewhere you left the punctuation or you use the wrong connectors or you forgot to capitalize the words or anything so proofread it two to three times on the exam day also try to make yourself time management to get 5 minutes after writing the letter to proofread the letter and if you write any wrong sentence and you are not getting time to complete on the exam day you can just draw a line on that sentence and you can rewrite it in the next sentence and for example you write it in a you 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 wrote you write the two paragraph from the first and second and while you are doing proofreading you will realize that this paragraph should come first and the first paragraph should be the next at that time you will no need to get panic just put a arrow mark the first paragraph should be second second paragraph should be first you can put the arrow mark the assessors they will consider that they will not cut for that so unfortunately if you face this situation on your examination day do not panic you can arrow the paragraph which should be coming first and you can draw a line on the sentence if it is wrong you, if you do not want it to be included in the letter they will not consider that so don't worry the letter writing is very easy you can get if you follow all these instructions and try to learn how to use active voice and passive voice and 
do not copy same exact words from the case note to your letter writing try to use different vocabularies so it will make the assessor happy if your information is correct and formal and enrich with the vocabularies and many co connectors you are going to get the best marks and you are going to clear the letter writing subtest that's it if you have any questions or queries please let me know in the comment section bye